so all of these things are happening. You're developing your professional skills. Yeah. You continue to practice sort of mindfulness and your own yeah. psychological skills and that kind of thing. And then the chronic pain yeah. arrives, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. So can you ex sort of describe what that yeah, was um, like and what to talk about? One of the things yeah. that, uh, that uh, I used, I did was I made sure that when I was involved in a program um, that I I, wa I was in, interested in research too, so I wanted to I wanted to write up the program and I wanted to describe it and I wanted to measure change. So I was I sort of published a couple of papers with uh, some with Leon Sloman and some with some other psychiatrists and psychologists that I worked with, and uh, and I enjoyed doing that. And I presented at a couple of psychological conferences. At the time, it was ADD. And using cognitive therapy with ADD, um, we were sort of trained and followed uh, uh, Donald Meikenbaum's sort of self-instructional training model, um, which, in my opinion, is the best out there. Was then and still is now. Um, but um, I was scheduled to present uh, at a at a uh, conference in Philadelphia on uh, in November 1981, and. Uh, I got an ear, nose, and throat infection uh, on the Friday and went to the doctor, and he said, you can't fly anywhere. You can't go anywhere. So I had to call the psychologist that I worked with, Chris Webster, and said, I can't go. And he said, okay, I'm going anyway, so I'll, I'll present it. So that was great. But the weekend was the worst, most painful in my face and head that I'd ever experienced. Uh, except for the below uh, in the forehead that one time, and uh, but the um, on the tractor, yeah, yeah the tractor. Um, so uh, it was really bad, and uh, my doctor put me on antibiotics for seven days, and the the infection cleared apparently, um, but I was left with this pressure and pain in my sinuses, the frontal sinuses across my forehead, um, and so I went back to him and said, I still you know, the infection's gone. I still got this pain here. And he said, uh, well, keep taking the decongestants for another week and see if that helps. And it didn't. So that started it. That's when th that, that sort of pressure and pain has never gone away, except for when they injected me with nerve blocks. Um, yeah, so that was the start of it. And um, mm -hmm. I was 30. 